if you've ever said this before, but um, I say this a lot, I'm a mess. You ever feel like you're just, your whole life is sort of a dumpster fire? And I just love the word dumpster fire. I've never actually seen one, but it sounds like a mess, right? Like if you're that much of a mess, you feel like you're a pretty big mess. And what's actually really hopeful is that a lot of people in the Bible felt that way about their lives. They, they really saw their lives as the dumpster fire, right? As just a massive mess. This guy, Paul, he really led the way in this in so many ways. He influenced the church, probably the most influential guy in the church apart from Jesus of all of history, right? And yet he saw his life as just a mess. Romans 7 verse 21 says this. This is in the message translation. It happens so regularly that it's predictable. The moment I decide to do good, sin is there to trip me up. I truly delight in God's commands, but it's pretty obvious that not all of me joins in that delight. Part of me covertly rebel. And just when I least expect it, they take charge. I've tried everything and nothing helps. I'm at the end of my rope. Is there no one who can do anything for me? Isn't that the real question? And I love how he closes. He says, the answer, thank God, is that Jesus Christ can and does. He acted to set things right in this life of contradictions where I want to serve God with all my heart and mind, but am pulled by the influence of sin to do something totally different. As I was reading this, I was just thinking about what this looks like in my life. And I, I did a little drawing here. And so I'm gonna put this up if you can see this. And uh, is that clear? Can you see that? So right here, I've got uh, the awareness of grace, right? That's a journey that we're all on, becoming more aware of God's grace. And then over here, we have the awareness of sin, right? And so in life, we become more aware of God's grace as we move on in our journey. And yet, uh, what we see in Paul's life, and, and in mine, I know this is true, is that I become more aware of my sinfulness, right? And so when we get off track of, of understanding those both together, it leads to a couple uh, variations of uh, misunderstandings about ourselves. The first is license. It's where, you know, I'm really aware of God's grace, but not so aware of my sin. And so it's where I feel like I got a license to do whatever I want, right? Like really God's grace can cover it. And, and I, I make decisions based on that, right? And Paul says this, he says, should we continue to sin so that grace might abound? Absolutely not, right? But yet most of us have found ourselves there before where we've acted in license. Oh, God's got it covered. You know, what did Jesus die for? You know, so that I could act however I want to in the moment, right? The other way is this, that we become more aware of our sin, but not so much aware of God's grace. So this leads to shame. And shame is never helpful, it's never good, it's never how God motivates uh, His people that He loves, right? And yet we've all been there before where we, man, we feel bad about ourselves, we know that we're a mess, as Paul says, we're the dumpster fire, but we don't realize how gracious God actually is. And, and in the middle, when we do both of these, there's acceptance. We understand God accepts us as we are. Like, like Paul says, he says, thank God that Jesus can and does change everything. And he helps, right? He helps. And so right there, when that meets together, I'll draw it like this. Really, that's, that's the cross, right? When we meet that, that in that place together, that's really where we see the gospel at work. When we understand, man, I am a mess. My life's a dumpster fire, but it only shows how great God's grace is. When we understand both of those things together, we grow in acceptance throughout our lives. And so realize this, you might be a mess, it might be a wreck. You, you might find yourself freaking out at your kids this week or um, not living up to the standard you've set for yourself, but God loves you and he wants to meet with you right there.